What's up, Montoya Mob? It's your girl, the Montoya Twins. I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. And today, we are in LA, our old stomping ground, if you will. <laughs> if you guys have been following us for a long time, you guys know we used to live here. But ever since we moved, they have came out with a new store called Air One. If you guys don't know what this store is, it's a grocery store, and it's like where all the celebrities go. It is an expensive grocery store. Bougie is the correct terminology to use. We would never shop here on a regular basis. This is simply for the sake of the the video we're gonna go check it out i saw like a slice of pie on tiktok was 49 dollars. all i care about is becky g's shake yes as you guys know the infamous Haley bieber shake is there and it's like 15 dollars. but they're supposed to be like really pretty shakes i don't know we're gonna go see what the hype's about we're gonna see how much we spend and we're gonna go get some lunch and let you guys know if it's worth it or not but we do support our girl becky g so i honestly don't have a problem spending 14 uh we got a problem spending 14 dollars on a shake i mean we spent 25 dollars on popeyes yesterday <laughs> <laughs> We're in desperate times, you guys. We're gonna go so that you guys don't have to. Alrighty, y'all. We have made it to Air One. There's like security. Oh, <laughs> there's like security and stuff. And this one's a lot smaller than the one I've seen on socials. So let's see if they have everything. I don't even know what they have. Let's go see. Okay, guys. My social anxiety is through the roof right now. <laughs> Overwhelmed and overstimulated to say the least. There's so many people in here. And from the looks of it so far, it just looks like a natural grocer's. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's just like all natural store, which I anticipated, but I thought it was gonna be way bigger than this. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what to get, but I'm embarrassed. <laughs> okay, from the looks of it so far, there's nothing that's like crazy expensive from what I can see. Everything's fairly priced, but maybe it's the mills itself that everyone's saying is expensive because I know someone spent like $60 on like tofu one time. So but everything else looks fairly priced. So the regular inflation prices, yes. Ooh, we should actually get that. Oh my. Cherry pop. Okay, so we're currently waiting for our smoothies right now. We'll see how long this takes. We already checked out. The price was what I predicted. There's so much going on. There's so many people in here. These poor people making the smoothies, they are being put to work. The amount of people that are in line right now, ridiculous. But I'm super sad. Apparently they discontinued Becky G smoothie already. It's like the main reason why we wanted to come. Hopefully the food's good. place was actually my living hell okay you guys so we got the popular air one smoothies if you guys don't know about these these are what were going viral for a long time because they're expensive smoothies everybody was ordering them we waited 15 minutes for these smoothies and they were 40 dollars for two 40 dollars for two smoothies but everyone says they're so good i can't imagine a smoothie being that good that you want to pay 20 dollars for it but we'll give it a taste test so right here we have a cherry almond smoothie this smoothie is inspired by sophia richie they discontinued the becky g smoothie i don't know if people weren't buying it or what but it only lasted a few months because she just announced that she made that smoothie and now they don't have it regardless these smoothies are really pretty i'll give them that and watching them make it was like an art form they were like painting the whole inside with like all kinds of things but the ingredients in this smoothie is organic unsweetened almond milk organic tart cherry juice cowboy vanilla colostrum which is all this white on the side calm magnesium powder organic dark sweet cherries dark organic pure maple syrup organic pineapple organic avocado organic coconut and cream and organic potato 
papaya powder, papaya powder. If you ask me, I think this smoothie is organic. <laughs> I have the infamous Hailey Bieber smoothie. This is the only reason I know about Air One is because of this smoothie right here. Also, mind you, I feel really stupid talking about we got our smoothies. Proceed. This drink contains milk, almond milk, I don't know what that means, banana, rancho, miladuco, dates, vital proteins, vanilla collagen, erewhon, sea moss, zuma valley, coconut cream, maple valley, maple syrup, hyaluronic acid, strawberries, avocado, vanilla sativa, vanilla sati vanilla sti stevia, excuse me, and house made strawberry glaze according to the Air One website. <laughs> Alright, let's try these $40 smoothies. I make this at home. That's very good. It's very sweet. This one tastes like just a regular strawberry banana smoothie. It literally tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. It's super sweet though. I did not expect it to be this sweet. They are sweet. In my opinion, I make this at home already. So I would not say it is worth $20 for one smoothie. I do think it's like a treat though. Like once in a while, it's like, oh, you want to go get an Air One smoothie? You can get a whole meal for $20 though. I spent 12 bucks on myself at In-N-Out the other day. I got french fries, a drink, and two burgers. One of the burgers was double patty so it's like i almost got three burgers so my this is organic who cares <laughs> it's very good but if you told me that this is 14 dollars, i would spit it out 14 you're being generous that's 20 20 dollars i give the hailey bieber one honestly a 9 out of 10 but then when you throw in the price automatic 5 out of 10. they're good smoothies there's nothing that tastes bad about them but it's just the yeah the thought of paying that i'll give the cherry almond at 8.5 out of 10. That one's much better. And yeah, this one's a lot more sweeter. This one's super tart. It's good though, but that one has way more flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I wish we got the blue one. Hailey Bieber, I'll give you a 9.2 out of 10. If you guys are gonna splurge and spend $20 on a smoothie, get the Hailey Bieber one. As controversial as a chick is, she makes a good smoothie. I'll give Sophia Richie's like a seven. It's all right, it's super tart. If I had this one first, I might've thought it was better, but Hailey Bieber takes the cake. $40. <laughs> Oh, we have to tell them what we spent in total. Just comment down below your guesses on how much everything came to. You saw what we were putting in our basket. <sighs> Break it to them, Micah. Like, uh. For our groceries, we paid $134. That's with the meals included that you guys saw us get. You pay for them with your groceries. So $134, which I predicted we were going to spend about $140. And with our smoothies, added to that, which is $40, that comes out to a total of basically $200. <laughs> and all of our groceries and meals fit in this one bag. Mind you, we had to pay for the bags, too. <laughs> They're 20 cents. Air One's definitely not a place to go grocery shopping, because as you can see, we didn't get very many groceries. It's all healthier. You have to keep that in mind. Anything that's healthier and convenient is going to be more expensive for you. So I can understand how this comes out to $20. I just can't fathom spending $20 on a smoothie that you can make at home. All right, y'all. First things first, I think we're going to take our wellness shots. They had so many to choose from. I got the Germ Warfare one. And I got the Good Gut shot. And mine has water, ginger, lemon, apple cider vinegar, podarco, oregano, oil, and cayenne pepper. Mine has a filtered water, lemon juice, colloidal silver, reishi tea, black elderberry, kyolic garlic, grapefruit seed, oregano oil, astragalus, echina I don't know. <laughs> This was like Peppa. One thing I did notice is that Air One puts everything in glass jars that they make. So I think that's also why it's kind of pricey because every other immunity shot I've ever taken was in a plastic bottle. This one's in glass, so it's pretty fancy. I don't know if y'all could tell, but mine has like oil just sitting at the top of it. You can smell the oil. Mine has oil too. Look, it literally says oregano oil. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my. I just pulled it everywhere. <coughs> I'm gagging. 
drinking. I need something else in my mouth. How nasty this one was. It tastes like I just drank vegetable oil, a ton of black pepper, and a mix of every hot sauce in the world. I feel like I ate a bush of poisonous leaves. And then it tastes like a bar of soap at the same time. It's like in my nose. I'd rather have all the germs than take that shot. <laughs> Ugh. You can smell the regular. No, 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 no. I'm gonna wash my hands. My eyes are watering. <laughs> That was so bad. You guys, I promise we're not dramatic people. <laughs> we're not extra like that. Like, that was really bad. <laughs> Whew. It's like lingering in my mouth. I can't get rid of it. Ugh. <laughs> we're both burping. You guys, I'm just talking and I smell of oregano in my nose, in my mouth, on my burning hands. My nose. <laughs> Ugh, and it like left a film on my mouth. Okay, let's try that one next. <laughs> I didn't know we got carbonated water. What do you rate the health shots? Zero! Negative 300. I would never purchase those ever again. I've had way better immunity shots. Um, carbonated water? I've never liked carbonated water in my life, so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this big bottle of water was only four bucks, which to me was impressive because I feel like smart water costs that much and it's way less water than this. But yeah, I don't like carbonated water. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> I guess get all the drinks out the way. Yeah, this one I got because it looked cute. I'm also a sucker for like uh, cucumber, lime, mint refreshers and stuff. And this is a watermelon, cucumber, basil drink. Open it, open it, open it, open it, open it, open it, open it. Open it, open it. <laughs> For your nasty carbonated water bag in here. It says it's 100% juice, organic watermelon juice, organic lemon juice, organic apple juice, organic cucumber juice, and organic basil. I can't even speak. Oh, that was such a bad start. It's like staying in my mouth. That woke me up though. I hope it don't hurt my tummy. This better Oh my good. gosh, there's like nothing in here. It smells very strong. Creamy. What does it taste like? It's like sour candy. I think it's that shot. It's messing up my taste. Cause even the smoothie tasted weird after I that. I only taste oregano. <laughs> oh no. I get a hint of watermelon. It's on my hands. I think it's good. I probably wouldn't get it again. It kind of tastes like you got water and you put like a sour watermelon sucker in it. Yeah. And you just let the sucker soak in the water. Yep. I could finish it, but it's very tart. I'll give it a five out of 10. Five out of 10. I hope the food is good. I need Germex. My hands smell of oregano. Oh, I feel sick now. Okay, the drinks are pissing me off, so we're gonna try some food. This is Japanese sweet potato. It says ORG on it. I'm assuming that means organic. Micah wanted this potato. Yes. It did not intrigue me, but here we are trying it. I've always wanted to try Japanese sweet potatoes. Mmm, they smell good. Mm. They look Ooh. like a regular potato, but they're sweet. How are they sweet? I need some Tabasco. I love me a good steamy potato with Tabasco. By the way, you guys, we're right next to the airport. So if you guys hear all that nonsense in the background, they're airplanes. They're squishy. This reminds me of fried eggplant. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. That's really tasty. Oh yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. These are really good. They're cold, by the way. They're super soft too. They're not like overpoweringly sweet. They're like a perfect amount of sweetness. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're super thick. I give that like an eight out of 10. I like it very good. See, the potato saved the day. No, it's hard just because every time we talk and move my hand, it smells of oregano. I don't think y'all understand how bad it smells of oregano in here now. I think yours might've been better than mine. My, mine was like really bad. Micah, mine was straight oregano. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. It better be very good for your body because I'm telling you right now, it was not worth taking it. Okay, so mine and I each got different food platters. This is where it got expensive at air one we got the combo i got the combo fish and she got the combo chicken so you get your entree as your main dish and then you get to pick two sides and for my sides i got broccolini and mm. i can't remember what else i got let me see they had a lot of different chicken to choose from but i got turmeric chicken tenders i think it was they smell really good and then for my sides i got garlic noodles because everyone raves about garlic noodles and i've never had them and then brussels sprouts and then for my main dish i got the pokey salmon pokey broccolini and sweet potato no fries. Did you get spicy pokey? Yes, spicy pokey. Are you gonna try my pokey? No. Just one of it, please. Micah doesn't like fish, you guys. Can you just try one piece? Look, that one's small. Please. It's spicy. Micah, I hate fish. Ew, even the texture's weird. It's like the ah! No, it's all. It's like all these <laughs> Stop. Okay, cheers. Go. <laughs> it's them. I didn't notice one of the sides was steamed rice. I would have gotten that. Mm, okay. You know what? It tastes like mom's cold pasta. Yeah, it tastes really good. It's good, but I can't get past the idea that it's a fish. <laughs> 
Okay, let's try my chicken tenders. To be honest, you guys, I don't know if these were served hot or not. I'm sure they were, but they're now cold. Cheers. They smell really good. They look like they don't have no flavor. They taste like they don't have any flavor. <laughs> they have no flavor. It honestly tastes like cold turkey and gravy and stuffing. No. I wonder if they would have been better hot. It don't matter. It don't have no flavor. <laughs> it really don't taste like much. Maybe it does, and we just taste oregano. I think they wanted to make it like panko chicken almost. Maybe it's meant for kids. <laughs> okay, next we're going to try my broccolini, which if you don't know what that is, it's like really long broccoli. Long skinny broccoli. Yeah, this would have been all much better hot, but it's all now cold. Why does none of this have flavor? They're not even salted. Because it's all organic. <laughs> There's no flavor. It tastes like spinach. Mm hmm. Wanna try my Brussels sprouts? Something better. Wow, me. The sweet potatoes are really good. They smell good. Mmm. They need Tabasco. <laughs> Brussels sprouts are good. Okay, I'm excited to try the garlic noodles. They smell sweet. Uh uh. Mm hmm. No, just like anything. <laughs> I think it was a shock. Honestly, I think it shocked our taste buds and now that's all we taste. I wonder what kind of noodles they are. It's almost like glass noodles, but they're a lot more squishier, if that makes sense. They're really squishy. You guys, it does not have any flavor. <laughs> You know, for what it is, it said garlic noodles. There's a hint of garlic in there, and they are noodles. They taste like oregano noodles. <laughs> Honestly, I think Maya's tuna is the best thing that we've tasted <laughs> all this so far. That's saying a lot, because Micah despises fish. I really do. I'm going to try the sweet potato fries. They got like a crispy, like if they did them tempura style almost. Tempura? Tempura. These would be much better crispy. Are you really taking the french fry that I picked up? They got character. Not bad. It's sweet potato fry. But if I had to eat a sweet potato, I think I'd eat the Japanese. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take those home and put Tabasco on them. You're gonna take them on the plane with us? Not bad. I think your sweet potatoes were the best side in my Brussels sprouts. Actually, I'm not mad at the garlic noodles. I just wish they were a little bit more flavorful. Yeah, I wish they were spicy. And your tuna is pretty good, honestly. If you guys had to get something, I would get my spicy tuna. Mm hmm Never thought I would say that. I'm gonna say it, you guys. I'm very disappointed right now. Or maybe it's just because the oregano is pissing me off. I'm never gonna want to smell oregano ever again. <laughs> hmm. I'm upset. Mm hmm Overall, I give my meal like a 6 out of 10. It was really nothing special. Didn't have too much flavor at all and highly overpriced. Very bland, no seasoning, very expensive, 6 out of 10. <laughs> okay, next we got Vina. Vina. I don't know what this I don't know what this is called. Vina, I think it is, but soda with smarts. And we got the cherry pop flavor. And we got this because me and Micah love poppy. And that's just like a healthier soda. It only has like 4 grams of sugar in it. And we love them. So we're like, why not try another one? One that we can't even get in Arizona if we like it. It's organic and stevia free. Brilliant from brain to belly. And it has 8 grams of sugar. So it already has more sugar than poppy. Lots of minerals, prebiotics, and fiber. Oh no. If this taste anything like the Olipop soda, I'm going to be even more upset. Olipop is very nasty. The can is so cute though. It smells like cherry syrup. Yeah. Also, we're using the same cups that we're using for all of the two drinks. So hopefully it doesn't mess up the taste. Oh, it's pink. Cheers. It tastes like if you got the carbonated water in this and you mixed them. It's nasty. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like cherry coke. It tastes like a carbonated strawberry lemonade. I'm not mad at it. It's better than Olipop. Olipop's like straight medicine. Instead of this tasting like soda carbonation, it tastes like soda water carbonation. If that makes sense to you guys. Does that make sense? I know carbonation is like the same, but you know the taste of soda water? That's the carbonation taste I'm getting. Not like a soda carbonation taste. Yeah, I wouldn't say it tastes like cherry pop. No, it tastes like a cherry limeade diluted with soda water. I'm honestly not mad at it. I think I would probably drink it over this. Yeah. I'll give this a 6 out of 10. I'll give it a 7. It's really not bad. I probably wouldn't buy it again though. On to dessert. These are chocolate chip ready to eat bite sized protein cookie doughs. They have 5 grams of protein, 4 grams of fiber, and only 180 calories per bag. They had a lot of desserts to choose from, so I was excited. They had some chia pudding, like cheesecake. They had thin mint. Like Air One's own Thin Mints and it was a pack of two. It doesn't come with a lot. Like this does not come with a lot at all. And we got chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, what the heck? That's not what I imagined them to be. They're like little dingleberries. Dingleberries. Tastes like protein. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, not bad. Yeah, it's like a dog treat. That texture is crazy. Wow, it's thick. It tastes like peanut butter, like almond butter, and protein powder mixed together with some chocolate chips. I like them. You can have them. <laughs> I'm not a picky eater, but this is all... 
for me right now. There's applesauce in this. Wait, is this whole thing just five grams of protein? Probably. Uh, oh, it's pea protein. It. That was not what I expected. I like it. I'll give these. I have to revise the price. My answers would change if I remember the price. But as of right now, I give them like an eight out of ten. They're really not bad for what they are. I'll give them a 6.5 out of ten. All right, last but not least. Pecans, pecans, pecans. This is Erwan's own brand of candied pecans. I love candied pecans, so I had to try these. They did charge an extra $2 for the glass jar. I told Micah not to get these because she's always getting candied pecans, but I have a feeling this is gonna be the only thing I like <laughs> that we try because how do you mess up candied pecans? They might be able to do it. If anyone could do it, it's Erwan. They're organic pecans, organic maple syrup, and organic cinnamon. <laughs> I never open things with my left hand. Mm, this smells so good. Ooh, this smells really good. The only thing that'd be better if they were warm. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Honestly, no. the Japanese sweet potato are sweeter. I think so. They're still really good, though. These are, like, barely coated, though. I mean, they're trying to do the healthier route, I guess. But usually, candied pecans have, like, the brown sugar on top of it toasted, where this just is dipped in maple and dried. They're more simple. Mm -hmm. I like them. Like mine, so you can't really mess up candied pecans. But were they worth the price? Probably not. <laughs> but for the taste, 10 out of 10. I love candy pecans. That's all me and Maya got to try. We really wanted to try their infamous sea moss. They had so many different colors to mm -hmm. choose from, different kinds of sea moss. But they were $40. We already spent $40 on our two shakes. Yeah. And then we'd have to take it home, and it was like a big, big jar. So it just didn't seem practical at the time. But let's know if you guys want part two of this. Uh, I don't want a part two of this. No, this was... Terrible, but I don't know. Maybe if we do a part two, it will change my mind about how I feel about air one. Overall, though, I think you could get stuff like this at Trader Joe's probably cheaper and a bit more flavorful. I will say, out of everything, though, Hailey Bieber's shake was my favorite thing. Out of everything, out of every single thing, it did live up to the hype, but I just can't fathom paying that much for a smoothie. To me, the twenty dollars knocks it like three points, <laughs> even if it is that good. The price is just absurd. That's it for this week's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed. I I didn't. Honestly, I think it was just, we started off really bad. The shots were a bad start to the video. I just burped it up. Ooh! I just showered right before this video, so now I don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of this oregano smell. I reek of oregano, you guys. I'm not even joking. I'm scared to get on the plane now because all my neighbors are going to smell oregano. Just stay away from oregano oil. I don't know what that was about. I've never heard of oregano oil. I don't know what they use it for because if you put in anything, it's going to overpower whatever it is. So beware. I'd rather reek of like onions or garlic right now. Yeah. This week's post notification shout out goes to Lori5075. Thank you, Lori, for liking this video, commenting tacos down below, subscribing to your girl's YouTube channel, and following your girls on IG and Twitch. If you want to post a notification shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is everything Lori5075 did. Don't forget to check your girls out on our Twitch streams and follow us on our Snapchat because we are always active. But without further ado, adios amigos. And as always, stay beautiful, my loves. Mwah. Don't go to Air One. Comment down below what shakes you guys recommend because I'm honestly down to try another one whenever um I win the lottery. <laughs> I smell like oregano. And things couldn't get any worse. Now our light smells like oregano. <laughs>